What's going on Bulls fans? Welcome to the 2012-2013 season. Uh, Bulls are starting their preseason tomorrow against the Memphis Grizzlies, so we'll see how that plays out. Obviously a big story, D. Rose still coming back from his injury, rehabbing that knee. Looks like he's doing really well uh, ahead of schedule, um, and we'll see when he comes back, when he's ready, coaching staff, when they say he's ready. Um, other big story besides that, obviously pretty much a whole new team, uh, you know, benchmark for the past couple years pretty much gone uh, to other teams. Uh, Scalabrini, White Mamba, retired. Um, so pretty much the only guy left from there is Gibson. Um, you know, but we do got uh, some new players. Hopefully they could fill in the role. These guys could hopefully mesh in together really well, hopefully pretty quickly and see what happens from there. So, um, you know, there's a lot of questions uh, regarding a bunch of the players to see what, what they could do and where they're at. Um, so let's kind of go down the list with the players and see what, what we got. I guess starting with the projected maybe starting lineups. Uh, Dang, of course, with the wrist injury from last year, didn't get the surgery. Played in the Olympics and says he's feeling good. Uh, Carlos Boozer, obviously. Uh, we'll see what he does this year. I mean, with D. Rose out, I mean, Boozer was supposed to be second scorer. So we'll see if he comes in and, and does his job and becomes the main guy here. Noah, obviously, we know what he's going to do defensively. and. She heard this year that he's been working on a little sky hook action. Uh, see how his offensive game is. Rip Hamilton, of course. Um, another year here. Hopefully, if he can stay injury free, maybe we'll get a glimpse of you know why we why we got him here, running off those screen shooting, and um, and back here in Chicago again for a second time around is uh, Heinrich. So we'll see what he could do. Um, I know past couple of years he's been with. Washington and, and Atlanta been banged up a little bit, so heard he's he's pretty healthy this year. Uh, excited to be back and, and hopefully he can contribute. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a different uh, point guard than what Rose was. I mean, can't really can't really do what Rose does, but uh, hopefully he'll come in, bring in energy, uh, just like he did the first time when he was around here. So it'll be good. Um, then let's take a look at the bench here. So we got uh, Marco Bellinelli. Uh, I know I think he came from the Hornets last year. Uh, more of a guy that's a spot-up shooter. You'll probably find him in the perimeter. Um, Jimmy Butler, hopefully he'll get more playing minutes this year. I mean, limited minutes he did have last year. He did show some glimpses of some good things. Um, let me see. Of course, Todd Gibson. I mean, we know what he could do. Hard worker, defender. Uh, you know, we, we know what he could bring here. Um, who else do we have? Uh, Nazar Muhammad over from the Bobcats. Backup center, uh, honestly, I don't know too much about him, but older player, hopefully he can just bring some experience, some minutes in to help out the big guys. Uh, we got Vladimir Vladimirovich, um, another tall shooter, 6'10". Um, I know he was with Atlanta last year. Um, I think he's a little bit of a ball, better ball handler, um, you know, than some of our guys on the bench last year. So hopefully he can bring some ball handling, some shooting, a uh, taller guy into the, on the bench. Little guy Nate Robinson, uh, I know he was Golden State last year, a lot of energy off the bench. Uh, I know he played uh, limited minutes, not limited minutes, maybe like 20-something minutes a game. He did score double digits, so he is kind of off, uh, instant offense, uh, but we'll see what he could bring. And of course, rookie Marcus T, um, like we've seen in the years past, rookies don't really play too much here, and he's a young kid. So I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, with Heinrich and then uh, Robinson, maybe Teague gets in a little bit, but, you know, we'll see how uh, Tibbs does it. And speaking of Coach Tibbs, four-year extension. I mean, a great move by the Bulls to bring him back back here for four years. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then, obviously, for preseason, they added a couple more guys here and there, and I'm sure some of them might stay. Most of them probably be dropped, but we'll see. Um, so I think... Big questions are obviously besides Rose, uh, we know where that's all at. Uh, you know, waiting to see when he comes back after rehab is is how is the bench mob going to um, gel together? How they're going to come together? I mean, you know, past two years our bench has probably been the best bench in the league. Um, now that we have a totally new bench, uh, we have to see what they're going to do, and what they're capable of, and uh, you know, we'll see if they come together. Um, obviously. Loss of a Sheik is huge, uh, defensively at least. I mean, the guy with Gibson, I mean, no one could get past him in years past. So we'll see what, what happens there. Uh, Brewer, a guy that just uh, played good D, really played the baseline well. Corver, of course, shooter. 
um, you know, Lucas, uh, he was somewhat of an uh, instant offense, um, you know. Uh, so hopefully some of these guys that come in can play that role, those roles, and see how they are. Um, so I think, you know, a lot of guys and or a lot of people are already just saying the Bulls are having a throwaway season because Rose is gone. I mean, obviously, I, I don't think they're going to be number one in the league like they were last year. Um, but I do still think with the East, I mean, they could definitely make the playoffs probably, you know, sixth, seventh, eighth seed. I mean, uh, they'll still have a lot of work to do. But I definitely think they'll get there still. I mean, I, I think even though Rose is gone most of the season, maybe the whole season, I mean, last year the Bulls have done really, in the past two years with his injuries, the Bulls have done really well without him. Um, obviously, you want him on the court, but I, I think they'll be good. So I want to get your feedback on what you think, uh, what's going to happen this year with the Bulls. Again, first play a, a preseason game tomorrow. I mean, they'll tell us a little bit of where they're at. Um, you know, hopefully we'll see some 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 good things out of it. Uh, but I think this year we got to be a little bit patient. Um, you know, so just you know, let me know what you guys think of your predictions of the year, where they're going to be. Uh, you think Rose is going to come back? How do you think some of the guys are going to step up? Who do you think is going to step up? Who's going to be the X-Factors for the team? Um, so let me know, all right? Later.